What's up, peoples? This is your boy AG coming to you with another quick um, tutorial. Uh, I guess you can say for Machine Masters. Um, this is a follow up to my last video I did on the Ableton Push, um, showing y'all how to chop on it. Um, and basically, what I'm going to do here is just show y'all how to put together um, an auto chop template. That way, you can use it with the Ableton Push. First thing you want to do is go to Instruments, you know, make sure that's selected. And the next thing you want to do is get you a drum rack. All right, you want to take the drum rack, drag it over to a MIDI channel, drop it in. All right, and what that's going to do is give you this right here. Uh, the next thing you want to do is grab, I normally use a simpler. So you want to take the simpler and pull it down to your first pad, which is C1. Drop that in there. And what that's going to do is give you all kind of, um, you know, parameters that you can adjust for the simpler. And what you want to do, this is the main thing that I normally um, focus on right here, is turning the release all the way up. And that way, so, excuse me, that way, so when you, um, when you chop in a pad or whatever, it, it will go all the way to the end of the sample. So the release is turned all the way up. The next thing you want to do is select this button right here. And what that's going to do is give you some more um, parameters to adjust. And once you select that, you want to click I.O. What that does is open up and give you access to your choke groups. And what you want to do is just change it from none to one. And with the choke group being set to one, that's going to allow each pad to cut off the other one because they're going to be all in that choke group. Once you have that done, this is pretty much everything you need to do uh, for the basics anyway. This is what I use. And uh, you can close out of all that. Then you want to go here and save. Now, once you um, save it, you can go ahead and change the name to this if you want to. Uh, let's say we're going to change it to uh, Auto Chop. All right. Now from here, you want to take this and put it in your default folder. So how you do that, you just take it, drag it on up, take it to your defaults folder, and then from there you want to bring it on down to slicing. All right? And then you can just drop it in that in that um in that folder. So now with auto chop being there, say for instance if we was to grab a sample and this is just going to be something quick. And by the way, this is um, my Ilmon uh, volume, my Ilmon sample pack, volume 45. We've been uh, giving out free sample packs for 45 weeks now, man. So, you know, make sure y'all check us out, machinemasters.com. Um, let's just go ahead and take this one right here and drag it over. We're going to go ahead and delete this, all right, because we don't need that. We can double click on the audio and just say for instance, I'm just going to pull this over to about right there. All right, let's go ahead and crop that sample. That way we just have that. I'll go ahead and crop it to about right there. All right, so just say for instance, if this is the sample that we wanted to work with, then what you would do from there is you can go ahead and cut on your warp feature and from the warp you can now uh, right click and go to slice to, to new MIDI track and now you can slice it by warp or whatever but we just gonna go ahead and use quarter notes just for the sake of using it and we go to auto chop now auto chop is going to chop it up into eight slices click OK and here we have it right here everything's already chopped up Then from there, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and say, for instance, if we don't like how that hit right there, we can go ahead and adjust the, the start, the end of the sample, the sample length. You know, we can do it like that. If you want to go to the next sample, uh, you can adjust that. You can adjust that. I mean, you know, just a lot of stuff you can adjust the uh, attack. 
the release, but this would just be for that particular um that particular chop. So again, you can adjust the volume. It's a lot of stuff that you can do with the push. So now you have access to all those parameters. All right, and that's basically it. You set up this template like this. Um, you can use an auto chop function on your Ableton push, just like you would on the machine or the MPC Renaissance or any other MPC. All right, I hope this was uh, beneficial to you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up, and also you can find me on MachineMasters.com. All right, peace.